What is going on crypto friends? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Fareed and in today's video, I want to highlight an article that was recently released by the IOG team or the Input Output Global team, which is part of the team behind the actual Cardano blockchain, stating that sidechains are coming to Cardano. Now, as a part of this video, I'm gonna be learning alongside you guys. And so if you guys have any questions or clarifications, then make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Without taking up any more time, we can see here that IOG has officially launched a toolkit for developing custom sidechains on Cardano. Now, before we jump into this, if you guys are not familiar with sidechains, these are essentially gonna be separate blockchains running alongside the Cardano main chain. And basically, this will essentially allow for the sidechains to benefit from the security as well as the structure of Cardano while also bringing their own flavor into the mix. Kicking off the article, Input Output Global, or IOG for short, has assembled a team of specialist engineers to use the rock solid foundation of Cardano to build a toolkit for custom sidechains. Using the toolkit, they have constructed an Ethereum virtual machine or EVM compatible sidechain public testnet as a proof of concept. So not only have they just released this, I believe on January 13th, but it seems like they've already worked through a proof of concept to make sure that they can also include other ecosystems, i.e. the Ethereum network as a part of this sidechain or as a part of this sidechain toolkit. Now, sidechains make Cardano extensible and more scalable without compromising the stability or security of the main chain. Now, taking a closer look at sidechains in general, these are going to differ slightly than layer two protocols. So if we take a look at Ethereum, for example, they have Matic um, or the Polygon network, which is essentially a layer two scaling solution built on top of Ethereum. So in this particular instance, if we were to have a layer two on Cardano, it would essentially be another network, which essentially uses the same exact consensus mechanism for verification of blocks on the network. Now, this is going to differ slightly from the side chains in the sense that side chains will be able to have their own consensus mechanism while also benefiting from the same security measures that we already have on Cardano. Now, decentralization and interoperability are going to be some of the key features of the Cardano blockchain. These features ensure that no person or entity is able to control a blockchain or be restricted to just one ecosystem. On top of that, to enable this interoperable environment, IOG has been working on the creation of a toolkit for building a family of sidechains. So this is not just going to be one single sidechain. Looks like we'll be able to essentially spin up and kick off as many sidechains as needed in the future. With this toolkit, anyone can start to leverage Cardano security and infrastructure to create a mission specific sidechain. Now, in the article, as you guys are going to see in a little uh, bit, there are going to be some benefits to dApps as well as stake pool operators in it, when it comes to the use of these side chains. The first stage was the demonstration of the EVM application at IO Scott Fest in Edinburgh in late 2022. Today, we're making available the first tranche of formal documentation. So they've already done a demo um, and IO Scott Fest took place, I believe, like it says here in November of 2022, in which we saw Charles essentially break the news about midnight, which is also going to be a new chain. I believe it might be a side chain. I'll have to double check that also coming to Cardano. Now, at the heart of midnight is going to be um, decentralization and security. So it's going to be running off of a token of its own, which I believe is going to be referred to as the dust token. But again, I think that might be an implementation of a side chain, but I'll go ahead and double check. Now, a little bit more about the actual to toolkit itself. It states here, a side chain is simply a blockchain that depends on its main chain that it's connected to. And so again, in this instance, any side chain built using this particular toolkit will essentially be tied to Cardano. But if there's anything that affects the side chain negatively, that will not actually impact the Cardano network. 
Now the toolkit allows the sidechain to have its own custom consensus algorithm and feature. So this is what I was talking about just a minute ago. So the consensus mechanism on Cardano is not going to change, but if you want to essentially come in and build a particular sidechain that has some benefits that may not already be on the Cardano network or that use a different consensus mechanism, you'll be able to do this while again, also still being able to leverage the security of Cardano. Now the side chain is connected to the main chain through a bridge that allows asset transfers between the chains. The finality or how the actual um, blocks are confirmed to actually be processed and verified will still be determined through a consensus mechanism that relies on the security of the main chain. So what this basically means is that you could have transactions being verified through a consensus mechanism on the side chain. However, the actual finality of those blocks from the side chain will still need to be verified and confirmed on the Cardano network. Now the toolkit is going to be made up of three different parts. The first is going to be the main chain Plutus scripts. These scripts run on the Cardano main chain and they also enable secure cross chain transactions and token movement and they leverage minting policies to support the sidechain's tokens. So as I mentioned before, what we would essentially be seeing are sidechains spinning up with their own native governance tokens that would be managed between this bridge that essentially connects the sidechain with the Cardano network. The second key aspect is going to be what they call a chain follower. Now the chain follower tracks the main chain's data and events that govern the side chain. And in the V1 toolkit release, this is known as the Cardano DB sync instance. Now the third key feature is going to be referred to as the side chain module. And this module is a side chain client and its job is to interpret main chain data and implement the necessary ledger adaptions. And then as we have here, we've got a nice little diagram essentially stating that on the main chain, which is right now Cardano, we're still going to have ADA, you know, as the governance token. But then you can essentially spin up a side chain, which will essentially be bridged through the chain follower and the side chain module. And then on that side chain, you would have um, a separate token that is then, that's essentially used to run that particular side chain. And then as we can see here, there would still be scripts developed on Cardano that would essentially be tied to the smart contract developed on the side chain again in order to make sure that the security um, and infrastructure of the side chain is still somewhat tied to the main chain which is the Cardano network moving over into the actual components of the toolkit we can see that the toolkit will come with a technical specification document containing an introduction and a guide to Cardano sidechains. Now the toolkit's building blocks are designed to empower developers with some additional examples listed below. So using this toolkit, we'll have the ability to move data and assets between the main chain and the custom sidechain. We'll also have the ability to support various consensus protocols, ledger rules, and languages. Now the language portion here is gonna be key given that there's a lot of talk right now within the Cardano community about the adoption of Haskell. And so if we now begin to have sidechains break out and essentially support different languages while also being able to leverage the security and infrastructure of Cardano, that could be huge for adoption. Now we're also going to see support for secure sidechain launches as well as secure small chains and they're also going to allow for experiments incubation and research on these sidechains coming to cardano in the near future now the evm sidechain again which was launched as a proof of concept is still being audited and it will be available as a public testnet later in January of 2023. Now we only have about two weeks left and so we should be seeing an additional announcement as it pertains to the progress of this public testnet. Now developers will be able to try it out by running a few Solidity applications to get a feel for its potential. So again, Solidity is essentially what all of the dApps on the, Card uh, not the Cardano, on the Ethereum network are essentially using right now. And the fact that we're not going to be able to get some Solidity developers using a sidechain tied to Cardano is huge. Again, this is going to essentially bring interoperability as well as scalability for the future. Now, if I scroll down just a little bit more, this highlights some key aspects and some key benefits 
of the actual sidechain toolkit. The first is going to be interoperability. So as it states here, the most basic form of communication between a main chain and a side chain is the exchange of assets. Because assets retain their nature when transferred to the side chain, they can then be transferred back just as easily. A bridge mechanism enables this communication, and as long as both chains are secure, this security is carried on to the two-way transfers. So again, you could imagine essentially having some tokens on Cardano that would be adopted on some of these side chains, and you'd be able to essentially easily transfer your assets from Cardano over to a side chain, use that for whatever you need to, and then transfer those assets back over onto the Cardano network. Now, when it comes to the communication aspect of the side chains, communication between the main chain and the side chain will allow for them to keep their own consensus protocols and block formats while also still working together, opening up a wider range of applications. And so, as I mentioned before, you could essentially have Cardano continue to operate just as it does, right, with a proof of stake model. But then you could also have another side chain using a different consensus me method, also collaborating and also communicating directly with Cardano. In terms of scalability, because side chains can be specific to an application's domain, transactions can also be completed quicker, relieving the main chain of its load. So in this instance, you could imagine transactions being completed on a side chain, which potentially could run in a much more efficient manner than Cardano, but then also then being finally verified on the Cardano network. And so again, this takes a big part of the workload from having to actually occur on the Cardano network. And if you guys are not familiar, we did see some load issues when the Sunday swap ISPO, as well as the launch of their decks actually occurred on the Cardano network. And so again, this will be a way to alleviate some of that pressure. Sure. Moving things along, the scalability improvements of sidechains comes without compromising the security of the existing Cardano network, and it will not affect its decentralization. And so again, this is really key here because it's not going to have any negative impacts. And so far, it seems to only be providing benefits to the community. When it comes to testability, developers can test and pilot dApps on dedicated sidechains. So think of this as essentially a sandbox environment. Again, while it's still gonna be connected to Cardano, you'll be able to do whatever you want on your own specific sidechain. If there is a failure requiring a restart or modification of the interface to that chain, then it only affects the side chain, not the main chain. This phase acts as an intermediate step between testnet operations and full mainnet releases for experimental features and new applications. So this is essentially going to be a safe haven or a sandbox environment where you can essentially use one of these side chains as a sandbox environment in order to test whatever dApp or new features that you want without actually having to worry about impacting the main Cardano network. When it comes to compatibility, sidechains can expose the same application program interface or APIs as an existing chain and use the security and efficiency of Cardano's consensus protocol. For example, the Cardano EVM sidechain provides a solidity execution environment that does not require miners, but still serves Ethereum JSON RPC methods. Ethereum smart contracts can run unchanged at a considerably low gas fee. This screams to me adoption, 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 because again, now we're going to see the best of both worlds, right? We can still get the security of Cardano while also being able to get the strong development base of the Ethereum platform. Now, when it comes to some of the benefits of the side chains for stake pool operators, they're going to have the ability to award more tokens than just ADA if they decide to also run a side chain node. Now, these sidechain specific tokens can also serve a different purpose and in turn attract delegators to participate in their network. And so my thinking is here is that once this is actually live and running, we're going to start to see a bunch of the top stake pools essentially build out their own sidechain where they can run their own dApps, have their own consensus mechanisms and also reward their delegators with more than just the ADA token. And very lastly here, when it comes to some of the benefits for dApp users, um, people like yourself and I within the ecosystem, more Cardano sidechains means greater variety of innovative blockchain designs, use cases, and higher total staking rewards, which tends to attract more SPOs and delegators, and consequently ensures enhanced security and greater decentralization. And that's going to be the key part right there, security and greater decentralization. 
In conclusion of today's article, sidechain development paves the way for mass adoption of Cardano by enabling much higher throughput without a reduction in decentralization or security. Now eventually, IOG hopes to see a family of Cardano sidechains and partner chains emerging on the platform. Now wrapping back up with the EVM proof of concept, this particular sidechain public testnet will be released in January of 2023, allowing the community to deploy dApps, create smart contracts, and move tokens between the testing environment chains. In closing, the toolkit being released in January is not a complete solution, and IOG is actively aware of that. There are some known areas for improvement, like the bridge experience, SPO rewards mechanisms, and the security model. That is going to wrap it up for today's video in which we've talked about the big news coming down from IOG, which is the sidechain development toolkit for Cardano. Again, this was a learning experience for myself. And if you guys learned anything along the way, I would really appreciate it if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the DAP Central YouTube channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for myself, then make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video.